The next thing would be the year to date switch. This time I'll use the month as a filter. The slicer filters all the visuals on the page. You control this. If you click on the slicer and now you can go to format settings and you have this edit interactions field here when you say, all right, I want this slicer to control everything, but not my time series. So when the September is, um, when, when a month is selected here, it's not affecting my time series, all right? So this is uh, just the most simple way how to control which um, visuals are affected by a slicer. All right, now we need the switch. How to do this in Power BI? So we'll add another table just for this monthly versus year to date switch on my dashboard. Um, this is called a disconnected table because it's just going to be a switch with two values and we'll do it by pressing uh, enter data here. And we'll just add, we'll just create another table which I will call, uh, let's say period calculation period calculation and here I will have my column um, this will be my period calculation and the next one is will be um, so I'll have monthly and year to date and I'll add I'll also add a number uh, so I'll just call it calculation um, let's say calculation ID all right and all right so now we'll have monthly this is my first option monthly this is number one option number one option number two is year to date number two that's it just load this so i created this little table here all right it's here it should be somewhere near near your calendar right and now if you go back to my model now I have this period calculation here and I can just take this period calculation column. I'll just move it here and you see I have monthly option, year to date option and I'll change this visual to a slicer again. But this time I will use the, um, I'll just make it uh, horizontal. So now this looks like this. So see now, now I have a nice little button here where I can simply click on monthly or year to date values. But of course, nothing is happening yet because it's not related to other visuals and so on. So we need another DAX trick here. Um, I'll create a new measure and I'll call it the uh, selected calculation like that. And I will simply return the selected calculation and i'll do this by using the min function min dax function and i'll simply return the minimum calculation id here it is all right and that's it that's it this is really simple and how will i link this to my model i will go back to my revenue ac measure which at the moment simply returns, you know, the filtered column from my sales fact. Uh, so I'll do this in two steps, actually. So I will just rename this measure. I'll call it uh, filtered. All right. Revenue AC filtered. So I'll just leave it like that. All right. So this is the, the old one. And now I'll add a new one that will take into account the selected calculation. And actually, if the value is two, calculate the year to date all right so let's create this measure so this will be now my true revenue revenue ac measure all right so now i need to do this switch right guess what's the function name for that index switch switch and this is a nice little dex function all right you evaluate the expression in my case i am gonna evaluate the uh selected um, calculation all right and now simply all right let's let's go into new lines so of incidentally that's shift enter and now i if the value is one i simply return the my previous measure which is now called the revenue uh, ac filters all right 
But now, in the second case, I need to return the year to date. So I will calculate calculate my revenue filtered. All right. Um, so that I get the year to date value. And there's a function, uh, the function that does this is called the dates year to date. All right. That's it. That's year to date. And you just need to refer date, uh, date column from the calendar table. So that's it. And one more and one more. And that's that's it. So now this now my measure revenue AC just uh, evaluates the selected calculation from my switch and does the switch and calculates year to date if necessary. So let's click on the visual. I'll just throw out the old one and throw in the new one. Now I'm comparing my my actuals. This is this is now year to date and comparing to my previous year. Previous year still refers to my old measure so i'll just correct this so now previous year will be calculated from the new one so it'll work for monthly for year to date all right enter ah this is better this is better we're getting somewhere you see all these options different options so the old one will just hide from the model and just from now on we'll just use the revenue ac which takes into account the monthly the year to date and it just will work across the whole the whole dashboard and this is all happening in the same visual that that's important it's just one visual and everything else is done by 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 the uh, switches and uh, drop down menus